Open science means not only communicating your work to other scientists, but to people outside the scientific world. Emily Ellis, a geosciences PhD candidate at Virginia Polytechnic University and State University, joins us now to talk about her efforts to make science accessible. Emily, thanks for being here. Yeah, thank you for having me. So you ran a session called Thinking Outside the Box Plot. Can you tell me what this was about? Yes. So the innovative session that we did was focused on unconventional ways to communicate science and how you can create fun and exciting ways to talk about your work. Um, and we were kind of working towards getting people who like use art or different time, types of visuals or how you communicate to different audiences. And we had some people talking about like using comic strips to communicate the That's work, cool. how you can best use TikTok or other <laughs> video methods to do that, or like how you incorporate art programs into research symposiums. And it was so much fun to organize and to just hear how everyone's communicating science. That is really cool. How did you come up with this idea? Like what inspired you? I'm on uh, AGU's hydrological section student subcommittee, H3S, and it's an early career student-led organization. And we were having conversations about how science communication has become really fun recently and that we wished that conventional sessions had a way to showcase some of these more fun ways to talk about science. And we were like, we could do an innovative session for this. And so we proposed that um, and it got accepted. Yeah. And we were really curious if anyone would sign up for it. And we had really great feedback on it. And so that was kind of the beginning of this session. And I would imagine that these kinds of presentations make this material more accessible to the general public. Why is it important to be able to communicate space and earth sciences to the layman? I think that is incredibly important because you can be doing the best science in the world and if you can't communicate that to people, how valuable is it? And I feel like a lot of the times when it comes to science, people may think it's a little unapproachable if you're not a scientist. And we need to find ways that we can talk about science that keep people interested, but also to where they understand it and can interact with it. So it's not just something the scientists are doing way off in the <laughs> distance that it trickles down eventually, but more like interactive so that way people can understand what's really going on with like Earth systems. So this fits pretty well then with this year's theme of wide open science, like making this so much more accessible. Exactly. I mean, we're not talking about just making it accessible to other scientists. It's like you're or working with other scientists. You're talking about bringing in writers and artists and poets and people from all sort of different areas of interest and background to try and tell these stories. Yes, and um, I think one really great thing about science communication and like these innovative sessions is that you can bring so many different perspectives into ways to communicate science because not everybody is coming from the exact same background and I think that helps when you're trying to make connections with people and part of the biggest thing with communicating your research is knowing who you're communicating to. So it's one of those you may need to shift the way that you speak about your research based on your audience and I think that flexibility is something that we also kind of covered in our session. Was there anything that came out of the session that you were particularly inspired by or like I want to do this or this is going to help my work or anything um, along those lines? I think one of the best pieces that I kind of gathered was just like moving forward we need to like think creatively about the way that we do our science and like even the way that we make graphics um, that it needs to be easily readable and accessible for everyone and I think that's just something that I'm going to keep in mind a little bit more with creating and publishing work is that you want everyone to be able to like resonate with it if that makes sense. Yeah. Emily Ellis thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me.